Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iPhone viruses. Can your iPhone get infected with a virus, get malware or just get hacked? And if yes, in which circumstances and what you should do to prevent it and of course what you should do to fix it if it has already happened. We have a few examples here and I will show you guys what to do, how to protect your iPhone and of course how to fix it if it has really happened and of course how to find out if it has happened. Now another thing you should find right now is underneath this video. Take a look there. There's a little like button which helps out a lot so make sure you smash that like button. Alright first of all we're talking about viruses. No your iPhone won't get a virus. Like if we're talking like the viruses that we used to get maybe like on Windows PCs that won't happen and if you see software somewhere advertising like an antivirus for your iPhone, just know that that's a scam, don't buy it, don't install it, your iPhone doesn't need an antivirus. But yes, your iPhone can get malware. Now for that to happen, that of course needs to be like certain circumstances. If you install like an app, not from the app store, like you sideload an app or from like third party websites or if you jailbreak your device. Now in this case, of course, when we're on jailbreaking, jailbreaking is actually safe. I've done it for years, never had a problem on my device. But the real problem is with jailbreaking that a lot of people will install actually packages on their iPhone, not from official sources, but like from websites or from sources that will offer like paid packages for free. Those are like cracked packages and a lot of them can get malware on your device. So make sure if you have a jailbroken iPhone, you never do that. Always just install packages from the official sources. Now a big concern lately has been like maybe let's say it's not a virus but like a whatever spam or whatever you want to call it that a lot of people actually get on their calendar and that will happen from visiting different websites or like clicking on different ads and that will of course add like a bunch of different events to your calendar just like this one right here you can see it shows like your device is infected and you need to protect it and it will give you a link right there to basically install something that will actually fix your device or stuff like that so you can see all these events will basically be added by these calendars. Now the way these work basically they will subscribe you to this calendar and add all of these events to your device. Now to protect your device and to stop this from happening first of all if just like a website or a link redirects you to your calendar app just click cancel immediately don't subscribe to that. Now if you have already done that by mistake of course you can just tap here on calendars and of course you can hide these but if you hide these they will be still there they will just be hidden but what you can do is actually go ahead and tap on one of them that you have actually right there on the i button and just tap on unsubscribe and this way you can go ahead and remove it from your calendar list now another way to do that of course just go ahead and go to settings and just find calendar right here when you go to calendar you will have your accounts and these are you can see subscribe calendars these are all calendars that you have subscribed to and that are showing those like events right there so you can see the server here so make sure you delete the account again this other one delete this account as well and now you're good to go your your device and of course your calendar has now been cleared and all we have is of course our norm, normal events that has been removed so this is like a spam that you get on your calendar this is like the type of spam that is like lately has been spread out every, everywhere on the internet you will find these links that are really bothering a lot of people and a lot of time you will get just a bunch of notifications that are really annoying so this is the way to stop them and of course remove them from your device. Now there is another example that I have noticed a few times and that's with iMessage so let's say you tap a link or an ad in this case it won't redirect you to the calendar but to the iMessages app you will see a number right there and already a text here ready to be sent. You can just tap there made by accident and send that text whatever that link is to that number that will be put there automatically so anytime a website or an ad anything redirects you to your iMessage just make sure you go ahead and tap cancel and close the iMessage app. Now if you're suspicious of your iPhone maybe being hacked or having malware there are a few things that you can check. First of all of course always just head on 
to the battery section that's the best way so if you see here on the battery huge like battery drains then that might be a problem and take a look at the apps that you have here if you see apps that you know you use just for little time but are consuming a ton of battery and maybe you have installed that app from a third party website or side loaded it or you have just recently installed that app that's a sign that that's an indicator that something is not right there and make sure you remove that app right away from your device and always check your device for overheating especially when you're not using it or not charging it if it overheats then something might be wrong with your device now another thing that you can do actually you will be able to do it in a few weeks if you have ios 15.2 beta 2 right now beta actually right now installed on your device you will be able to do it now you can go to privacy and you can check the app privacy report and right now you will be able to actually see everything that apps are doing on your device all the activity from apps using your network using your data and sensors as well and for the website as well this is an amazing way to see what apps what websites what is using what on your device and that will be really really helpful in this field now if you have like a lot of indicators that just something is wrong with your device and you can actually not find anything that, that looks suspicious like apps draining battery or have like those malwares on your calendar or your device maybe is not jailbroken at all but you're just getting your device overheating and stuff like that then there are a few simple steps that you need to make first of all you can do a force reboot on your device volume up volume down and press and hold the side button until you see the black screen and then the app logo of course what you can do again remove apps if you see apps draining a lot of battery on your device or if you have just recently installed an app remove it from your device now another thing is of course restoring your device first of all make sure you back up your device and then go ahead and do a clean restore and then just restore the backup to your device you can of course always go ahead and reset the settings of your device go to transfer and reset iphone you will have reset right here you can reset all the settings of your device you can reset the network settings or just completely reset your device if you want that as well you can go ahead and do it from here so erase all content and settings and this will turn back your iphone to its factory default if you just want to do that that of course might be the best way but of course you will have to maybe remove all of your data and leave them on a backup on your computer but of course that's probably not necessary if you have an iphone just make sure you never install apps from third party apps or like sideload apps or jailbreak your device and install packages from cracked sources always if you jailbreak make sure you just install from official sources and you will be really safe i've done it with four years and of course everything has been great now again these kind of viruses that you get on your calendar app those are nothing that's basically just spam and you will be able to easily remove them from your device as shown previously on this video so that's basically for this video guys these are like viruses and malware and spam that you can get on your iphone and of course how to check for them and how to remove them from your device on ios 15 again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one